Welcome back to Dracon's Plays. Monster Hunter World Beta. Alright. Did we get anything new? Huh. Alright. Let's just, let's just go for it then. So this is going to be interesting. Th that last one, I was starting to have a bit more of a problem there. The first one I just spammed out. One of the things I have to figure out is why the heck my weapon actually keeps like overcharging or something. And how I get it to stop the doing that. That's been giving the research commission a lot of headaches has shown up again. We don't know exactly what the monster looked like, only that it sent dozens of hunters back in bad shape. So let's get right to it. Open up your map. All right. This here is our current location. Yes. What we do know is that it marked its territory with a sticky mucus to keep trespassers out. Oh, that's fun. I want you to head to this area and look for that mucus-like substance. Got it? Okay. Alrighty, partner. It's monster hunting time. Oh, uh, one more thing. You're being timed. Good luck. Your wildlife map keeps track of where you are and where the scout flies are taking you. You can also use it to keep tabs on monsters. Travel back to camp simply by selecting it from the wildlife map. Dodge the cat. Don't forget, you can bark too. Wow. cars back to base and use them to upgrade your gear or craft something new.
I keep going for like way different controls. That is not what I wanted. Or is it? nothing what I wanted. Hmm, I don't know. Wow! Oh, crap! Wow! Well, that was stupid. Excuse me. If you run out of health, you'll faint and be returned to the closest camp. 
faint too many times and you'll fail the quest. Why is my weapon constantly in a state of overheating? I really do not understand that. How did I go? What the? How did I end up with, like, no health already? No. God, that hitbox. Why is it constantly in a state of overheating? Elemental discharge. Once again, why does it just constantly overheat? What the- 
What the crap? Man, what the crap? All right. Yeah, this is is not going well. I part I don't know how much health this stupid thing has either. What the actual crap? Oh. 
I'm going to run out of time. This is just, it's aggravating how it, you can't actually have a straight fight with the thing because it just runs off. Um, a lot of its attacks hitboxes just feel super bad. The time limit, uh, 20 minutes, regardless of the difficulty or anything. It is just stupid. And especially where I can't really do much to actually progress my character. Um, oh, hmm. I don't know how I feel about Monster Hunter. Just the way the combat feel plays out, a lot of times it just feels like I'm just button mashing to get through. I, I think that last guy's probably doable in multiplayer, but... Yeah. Entire thing's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, return to the title screen. Alright, so I guess that's gonna do it. Whoops. For the Monster Hunter World Beta. Let's just put it back to the title screen. Um, overall, it's definitely an interesting game. The lack of an actual tutorial and honestly just the general combat feel, I'm not a fan of. I didn't like a lot of how just the combat felt. Um, also, the constant... The monster that obviously can fight you really easily, just runs away. That was just aggravating. It's like, why is it just running away now? And then, I also couldn't figure out, why the heck was my axe just constantly superheating? I have no clue how that system works. And at least the beta um, demo thing did a very, very poor job. Actually, it didn't even explain a lot of these systems. So, I think I'm going to leave Monster Hunter um, for now. Um, I might try an actual full Monster Hunter game at some point, but we'll have to see. I didn't, like I said, I really didn't like the general just combat feel of this. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this one up here, and I'll see all of you guys later. Bye!